Hello and welcome to another Mario Party minigame review! About 30 or so reviews ago, we reviewed a game called Deep Sea Divers. It was a 2 vs 2 game where one teammate had to dive for treasure while the other reeled them back up. I gave it 2 out of 5 stars. It wasn't very fun, but I got it over with and moved on to the next game. Until now. That's right, the fine people at HAL Labs pulled another sneaky on us and repackaged another minigame for a different combination of players. This one is a free-for-all game where everyone dives to get the treasure. You mash A to dive and try and avoid the sea life around you as you bring a chest to the surface. If you hit anything, you'll drop your treasure and become stunned for a few moments before you can move again. Anyone who watched the review of Deep Sea Divers knows the general idea of this one already. It's not complicated. Get as many coins as you can before they're all gone. The bigger the chest, the more coins it contains. And I have to say, this one is better than Deep Sea Divers. At least everyone is going for treasure here. Being the teammate in the boat during Deep Sea Divers was boring. I don't really like mini games where you have to mash on a button, but we've played worse. That's not to say this game is great though. It's really not. It's still forgettable. I don't think many people will groan when they have to play this one, but nobody will have very strong feelings for it. It's nice to get some extra coins if you're running low though. Other than that, there's not much to say that I haven't already said. The control's fine. Stay cautious around the sea life obstacles, and you should have no problem getting some coins. When it comes down to the last chest or two, I found that a good strategy is to swim below the character bringing it to the surface. That way, in the event that they get hit and drop the treasure, you can snatch it away and get it for yourself. This is a middling, forgettable minigame. It's an okay way to spend a minute getting some extra coins, so it has its place, but it's never going to go down as one of the classics. I suppose that's okay. We won't all be winners, and at least this one isn't egregiously bad. I give it 3 stars out of 5. And that does it for today. Tomorrow's semi-final minigame is Tug of War. Here's to hoping it tugs Mario Party to the side of greatness and not mediocrity. Subscribe, hit the bell, and join me tomorrow to find out. Hope to see you then.